And then we got the Riddler already coming to light. Fucking. What do you think about that? Like him killing someone? I thought it was pretty damn creepy though. I really did. It was did. stupid. Everything, I thought it was everything about it was stupid. <laughs> everything after he killed that guy I thought was pretty solid up until he started freaking out. Shit. He's hearing voices in his head, man. Yeah, but why? He's the fucking Riddler, not the Joker. <laughs> we saw the Joker. I think it's supposed to be like his Riddler persona. Like it's starting to take over his mind. Yeah, but he was already Riddler guy. Uh, that that the more dude s- called him Riddle Man. Uh. Yeah. More of the psychotic side of what the Riddler is, more than less of the... But, I mean, he wasn't hearing voices when he killed a man. Welcome to the Power Chamber Podcast. We are finally back. Finals are over. Nick has graduated. I still have one more class to take. And Nathaniel is a lazy bastard. Hi. (laughs) So... How are you? (laughs) I am tired, but I'm I'm doing good, and I'm glad to be a part of the podcast now. Yeah, Yeah. thanks for joining us for an episode. Maybe we'll actually have a guest who cannot echo in the mic. We'll find out after this. No. The only yeah. problem that they have with my voice is there's like a demon voice you can hear in the background if you play it backwards or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Who told you that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's hearing voices in his head, man. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how to start one of these. So. Okay. Oh, no, we just pretty yeah. much talk about whatever. I mean, Power Rangers hasn't started back up, no. and so we can't really talk about that. Do that. Uh, did you see Ultron, by the way? Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, we haven't talked about it. We were per- specifically waiting to talk about it. Yeah, so what'd you think? Um, um, should, should um, I guess we could talk about it without your brother. Have you seen it? No, I already Age talked about Ultron. it with him, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Age of he saw it with me. Big yeah. shout out to your sister for sneaking us in. <laughs> Seriously? No, like, we paid, but I mean, like, we were, like, 30 second in line yeah, or something. Right. But and so she just let us in. Yeah, I know my sister yeah. works at Premiere now, so oh, that's fine. actually pretty cool. I didn't go. I, unfortunately, I didn't buy the tickets at Premiere because yeah. she wasn't working there yet, and so I went to Cinemark. I saw the Midnight Premiere XD 3D showing. That movie. You saw IMAX. Yeah. That movie was badass. I really liked it. Yeah. I I enjoyed the movie, but <laughs> but <laughs> but there's a but. there's like there's a lot of but. <laughs> There's a lot of butts in this <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> okay, my main problem: Ultron just doesn't seem like super mega. He seems villain. very goofy and like, um, sarcastic. I just, like I'm, I thought he'd be so super evil, but he's. Uh, my thing is the yeah. problem is is that it just it feels like the first Avengers again. I mean, uh, almost, almost. I, I don't think. That, oh, almost. you had that same problem with Loki, also, where it doesn't seem like he's very evil. Like it looks like you can just talk to him and he just tell you about his feelings or something. No, it's just. I mean, Loki, I can understand. Loki's a master of deception. Ultron. And such. Yeah, Ultron. I expect him to take on all the Avengers at basically the same time. Yeah. But, but in no, and in a way, it just seemed like the first Avengers ending scene again. But that's not a big deal. The second thing is. This movie set up a lot of plot, not for <laughs> Avengers. Like it set up a lot of stuff for other movies. <laughs> like this, well, yeah. this movie was setting up for a lot of other a stuff. Centerpiece. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't. It wasn't really most. It wasn't really a lot of Age of Ultron, but it was setting up a lot of stuff for other movies. Mm-hmm. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but not necessarily a good thing. And this guy, I, I, you got to consider this director is working. Multiple Marvel universes, plus the Agents of Shield TV show, plus the Agent Carter TV show that just started. Is he working on that? Yeah, I think so. I, did, I was not aware of that. Hmm. So everything all runs together in this Marvel universe, and I'm yeah. sure that's like a lot of stress on yeah. his mind. Yeah. Um, quit. Oh, by the way, he's not doing. One. He's not doing another one of these. Well, after this movie, <laughs> you you heard about the feminist backlash against? Oh yeah, Iraq. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's all talk about that. You know about the feminist backlash, don't you? Okay, no, they... let me explain this to you. <laughs> so, uh, the director it's Joss Whedon, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Joss yeah. Whedon. Yeah. Joss Whedon yeah, pronounces himself as a feminist, yeah. which you he know says that he's he's a feminist. Yeah, yeah. he says. Yeah. What's he... the, wait, wait, just for the viewers at home, because I totally know what a feminist is, but I just want to make sure that you know. So uh, can you please uh, repeat what a feminist is? Uh, A feminist is someone who believes in equal rights uh, towards men and women and uh, Mm -hmm. want to allow in the same world everything to be, you know, just as equal as anybody else for someone else. Okay. You know. I knew that. So they fight (laughs) fight for things like that. Okay. Mm. So uh, in this movie, 
spoiler alert, everybody. So just just if you haven't seen it for some odd reason, in this point at some movie, uh, Black Widow gets captured and thrown into a cell oh, yeah, with uh, eight, uh, with Ultron with like, his army right behind him, and she gets thrown into this cell. Mm-hmm. Then the Hulk comes and saves her. Well, not technically Hulk, but Bruce Banner. Yeah, comes and saves her. And they had this whole relationship establishment going on throughout yeah. this entire movie. Mm. The part that feminists have a problem is because it's a damsel in distress trope. Oh. I thought it was something else that they were angry about. I didn't think it was that. Nope. I thought they were angry about her saying that uh, because she was sterilized that she could Oh, be... yes, there is that too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's but what I heard. This, I this is one of the main reasons. Uh, because it's a damsel in distress trope. Mm-hmm. Um, and they feel, oh, well, Black Widow is just another Princess Peach, not able to do anything. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, look, you have literally Ultron standing in front of you with his army right behind him. Yeah. You were one human person. She straight up killed one of him in front of her. Yeah, he put his hand through his Ultron, or Ultron put his hand through his own face, which is probably intercourse. <laughs> and he just tore him apart, his own self apart. Yeah, so awesome. she probably realized that she couldn't win that like, fight. If that. I mean, like, him. honestly, like, how far do you do people think she was gonna get? And I mean, like, and it's and, and yeah. I I don't I don't I'm sure it's it's still somewhat of a damsel in distress trope. But Black Widow's smart. Well, there's nothing wrong yeah. with the damsel in distress either. I mean, if there's someone a girl in trouble, then I mean. And there's a girl in trouble, and they need a hero. I mean, but I mean, that's here, what the story here's is. the thing, though. It, it, it's almost the, it was almost the same thing for uh, Hawkeye in a way. He was mind controlled. You know, Black Widow yeah. had to come and save him. That's I don't true. hear anybody complaining about that. Yeah. Well, yeah, but a lot of people like to pick it. Shit. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's you know, probably that, why I haven't heard of. Not of to mention, that. you you open the the first Avengers movie. She's like captured, but she had this whole situation under control. Yeah, so, and so I mean, I mean, there's that. I'm just like, why? Are, why is this such a? Why is this one of the big deals about this? And I'm like, it seems like a big sh- or a little group is like that. Cause I really no, but like they, they that. straight up, they were like harassing Joss Whedon over Twitter. So he much he that shut he, down his Twitter. Yeah, he, oh, he's, he's like, like yeah, account. Account. yeah, and it's just like you know, come on now. I mean, like it's it's not that big of a deal. I mean, like it's not it's not a big deal that you know someone got captured and someone came and rescued him. I'm like, it just happened to be Black Widow, but Black Widow's a smart person. Yeah, you've seen everything she can do, and this one time that she doesn't get herself out, then it's a damn little stretch. Yeah. yeah. So, second thing. Second thing that feminists were pretty pissed about. When she calls herself a monster, like the Hulk. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of like, I... Mm. Okay. <laughs> if yeah. you can't have children, you're a monster. <laughs> well, no. It's not that she just can't. That's it's, what people say. It's yeah. not because... That's not the way she thinks of it. She thinks of herself that she could have done something to stop it. She could have... Oh, yeah. She could have not killed people, killed those girls in her class, because that's really the story. She killed people that were with her, that mm-hmm. she made friends with, and she's done. She was originally a villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I'm sure they haven't touched on that yet. They've hinted at it. They and so the thing is, it. you know, she felt like she could have done something with her life. She felt like she could have been the hero at first and stopped things from like this happening. Yeah. She f- does feel like a monster. She feels like she could have helped, you know, and. People who've never been through, like, sexual abuse or anything of that sort of self, I don't think have uh, any right to speak about that kind of shit. Because go and talk to someone who has been through that almost that kind of situation. They oh, will yeah. tell you that they feel like monsters. Ask anybody who's been almost from war. You know, sometimes they feel like, you know, yeah, I could have not done that. I feel horrible. I've killed people. So, I mean... I guess it would be kind of hard to get that point across for everyone to understand that. I guess they took it the wrong way or whatever. But I mean, yeah. a lot of people. I mean, well, you're always gonna have people way. who aren't gonna. Well, I mean, we're in a, it we're fully. in a, like I was telling Nick in the past podcast. We're a generation that's easily offended. Hell yeah! And yeah. especially with more radical and radical feminists coming out. Radical. I mean, when I say radical, I mean pe- feminists who go overboard when they fight for their thing. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, and it's it. There is a point of ridiculousness, no matter wh- what you yeah. say. There is a point. It's that time of the month. <laughs> like, like, uh, wow. like. Uh, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if you heard our uh, last podcast. I think it was, or I don't know if that one was. A, we talked about this. Um, uh, this college. Oh yeah, that's right. He hasn't heard about that. Okay, there I, was. I, a, I did tell him about that. There's this college remember. that um, had racist like security guards and teachers like that, and so protesters. 
there was only one entrance to this school. Oh yeah, yeah. Nick was telling me about that. They wouldn't let anybody in. Yeah, they locked that. arms and looked at. Nah, that's like, see, that's the point of going too overboard with the yeah. thing. I'm like, I'm trying to get my education, to motherfucker. Like, I, I would have told them, like, you know what? I'm not letting nobody in. I mean, I'm just gonna fuck up whoever's in my way. I'm gonna yeah. drive through or some shit. I don't know. I'm getting the goddamn class. No one's gonna stop me. Goddamn. Yeah. You know, and so yeah, there is a point of ridiculousness. I, thought, and I swear, I thought you would have the problem. That, the only movie, or the only problem I had with that movie that real bad was like Iron Man. Why was he there? Did they not want to? Touch oh yeah, on that? they don't talk. They don't about talk that. about that. I thought he quit. I thought he quit being Iron Man. I thought he didn't want to do it anymore. He said that in the third one. Am I right? It's not necessarily that he quit, but he just wanted a kind you of like a better better. No, himself. they they straight up like he he destroys all his suits. Yeah, he destroys everything. And no, he says everything. he's gonna restart. Go back and watch it. He I've says, only seen that movie once. So. <laughs> Meets your eyes. Yeah, go back and watch it again. He says, I'm going to start back all over. Activate. And then he destroys all suits and rebuilds them all. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Cool. Oh, that's the problem I was having. I was like, wait, why is yeah. The only reason he built so many suits and why, the, why I... My theory, my theory is why they dismantle so easily is because he was just building them out of, you know, uh, post-traumatic stress. Yeah. So... And so when he went back and built, he built them to be more tougher and stronger. And yeah, I didn't like the Iron Man movies. I liked the first one. The first one was. I like awesome. the third one. Very I like the original. third one and and the first one. You, like uh, the <laughs> you don't like the second one. No, the second, uh, one <laughs> second one's <laughs> second one's the lackluster one. Yeah. It's um, so bad. <laughs> I like the first uh, uh, Captain America, which most people don't like. I but don't like that. Movie. Well, it's okay. I don't. I, I was telling Nick, you don't get to see Captain America as he. He, like he, there's a difference between what he was at the beginning and what he is now, because he just looked like a regular person. He would punch people. I'm like, I could do that shit, you know. And then you see he punches someone, and they fly into the fucking wall yeah. and shit, and then upcuts them. They do backflips and shit. I'm like, see, that means he has power behind those motherfucking fists. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what so I showed like, him. I was like, wait, why is he in charge? Although of uh, something I did like about this movie, uh, Age of Ultron. Hawkeye got a lot of more attention. Yeah, and yes. that I swear that is only due to the fact because Civil War is coming up. Yeah, his character that's was built up neat. so awesome. Actually, that, that's I thought he was gonna right. die. Dude. I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, of course they made you believe that. They built all the yeah, tropes. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is the death trope number one, death yeah. trope number two. Death he straight trope up said, "This is my last one. I'm coming back here." I was like, damn. I'm like, uh, yeah, I was like fuck yeah, him up, man. Him. I saw Expendables too. And, <laughs> and then oh, like man. fucking, I honestly didn't expect Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver. Sure was, that, did you watch? The, did you skip the trailers like he did? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, the tra- wait. He saw the first two. No, well, I mean, there's the trailer that I watched, and it kind of ruined the spoiler for Quicksilver because I knew he was gonna die because I remember at the end in the trailer she was screaming. I was like, what would make her so fucking mad? And then I was like, oh, he's gonna die. Like I already knew that it was coming. Oh, I was like, shit. fuck. God, oh, I didn't even know. That. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't, but um, yeah, I didn't expect that. Um, which is kind of weird because I didn't, I honestly didn't see that coming since Quicksilver is. Somewhat of a big person in the universe, uh, when he, especially because he does marry one of the first, one of the Inhumans. Mm-hmm. So I mean, even though he's gone, doesn't mean necessarily he's gone. No, he's gone. They made a statement that he's gone. <laughs> he's not coming back. No. Oh. You never know when the Marvel universe. They say that now. Yeah, they say that, and then you'd be like, "Yeah, they said they wanted them." Like, ah, we just kidding. <laughs> we got you. We got I mean, you. like fucking <laughs> like when the when they first killed off a hero in comics. Oh, they're gone. Oh no, he's magically revived. That was just That's his twin it's brother. That's like decades. I don't think it's going to last that long. <laughs> so, so, you know, I mean, anything yeah. can happen in the Marvel Universe. Um, and so, everything about this movie just, like, made me laugh. With certain, I mean, like, it's a good mixture of action and humor and everything. Because, like, when this movie, um, it, the character, they don't even build time, they don't even spend time building these characters as a team. No, they're already a team, they're Thank already God. together. That's what I said, that's what, I, <laughs> that's what my brother, uh, Isaiah, was saying. He was saying something like, uh, uh, he was saying, like, it, has, it was nothing like the first one. I was like, isn't that good? I'm like, because we already yeah. had the first one. You don't want another one just like it. You want to have something different, they're going through yeah. different And this stuff. is how, like, this is how exactly how I'd expect these characters to react. Like, the whole scene with, uh, one scene at the beginning when they're all hanging out together, uh, Thor and uh, Iron Man, where oh, they're like, yeah. oh, yeah, my girlfriend is this, oh, oh well, yeah. my girlfriend, my girlfriend's better. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why, <are> you 
<laughs> and I'm not a really good fan, a big fan of running jokes through a movie, but that one about... Oh, the whole cursing yeah, thing? Yeah, that one made I can't me laugh believe, every time. I can't believe that was so well done. <laughs> yeah, everything, every time they mentioned it, I was laughing. I was like, ah. like I was like, they're not seriously going to go through this. Through the, yeah, no, they're going to do the this. the entire movie. It was awesome. <laughs> and sometimes they, you wouldn't expect it. Like, in the middle yeah. of the fight, I'll oh, watch your language, Cap. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. That was good. That was yeah, good. so, yeah, that running joke worked. I love yeah. when everybody's trying to pick up the hammer. Yeah. That's great. that's still another Do everyone Did everyone applaud in your theater when Vision picked up the hammer? Oh, dude, yeah. like, everybody was like, oh! <gasps> I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, that's what I wanted. From no, you want to know how nerdy my theater was? That midnight release? Fucking, we're sitting there. And the Star Wars trailer comes on. And all you hear is, yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like, the entire fucking theater. And I'm just like, we're, I guess I'm in the right theater. Yeah. Uh, I was we, the only one doing that for that movie. Someone came in our theater with a full Iron Man suit. Yeah. Built himself. And it had the full mask thing going up. I, I, was saw, like, I saw that when I went to go see the first one. <laughs> we saw <laughs> Thor, right? Or this guy was just about uh, as Thor? Or yeah. Uh, some girl came in as Woman Thor. The new mm-hmm. Woman Thor. Did they have a contest for y'all? Like, about... They trivia us. Yeah, they, we had a trivia, but it wasn't a very good trivia. It was um, like, who's the bad guy in the first Avengers? Loki. Loki. Yeah. Who was, who's Iron Man? Uh, you want to know, like, <laughs> fucking, if we, they gave us a quiz, my dad would probably be like, harder questions, because he's won three comic book uh, question awards. See, I mean, if One at VidCon, quiz, one on a cruise, and like If it's a else. quiz, I would think you would ask more challenging questions you mean of the comics also maybe you know or yeah. something make it challenging not something i would know like who know let's see who originally built uh ultron no oh, i have no idea that's hank pym i have no idea that's, uh, <laughs> i have no idea about anything and yeah, that's uh ant-man yeah. ant-man was originally you mean ant May. <laughs> yeah spider-man is apparently gonna be in the universe he's getting his own movie somewhere what do you mean, apparently he huh? is There's and they got rid of andrew probably. garfield right yeah, yeah he's okay, gone good. Then they there's the negotiations it. with the new person to take over the role. Yeah, it's me. Okay. I'm oh, by the way, it. here's something I hate about the movie. Vision has the Infinity Stone in his head, which I knew was gonna happen, but we all know Thanos is gonna get the stone. Yeah. Yeah. So Dang. as soon as he gets it, like, okay, we got a new character, but he's gonna die. Yeah, but you don't know how or when. I mean, they may know, be... he, he might come back to life as well. And they may give him if something they, else they to do, power If him. they do the, the romance thing between him and Scarlet Witch like, like it is in the comics, hell, that, that fight would be pretty awesome, I think. I mean, so you know he's going to go down. Just saying. You don't know going that. Down. There's two movies for the Infinity War altogether, so you don't know if he's going to go Oh, yeah, and, and now in this movie, they know about the Infinity Stones, thanks yeah. to Thor, which that was... Did anybody else think that was kind of weird? That suddenly he was getting all these visions and shit, or he went to a sacred pool or whatever. I, I didn't know I what know. the fuck was happening. Yeah. I'd like, like lo- Scarlet Thor- Witch touched him, and then suddenly he's like, "No, something's not right." And I'm just like, "What? How? Okay." And I'm yeah, like, like we'll but that, that brings back to when you said that they're trying to set up plots for the other yeah. Movie. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like when when I say like that, this was a lot yeah. of setup for other movies. Then like Thor, on its Thor movie. does like to fuck with your mind. Like in the first one when he couldn't lift his hammer. And they did not care to explain why the fuck he couldn't do it. And then the next scene, he was able to pick it up. Remember that? Well, like, they like, freaking they explained like, oh. it at the beginning of the movie. Like when he gets first banished, they explain it. What do you mean? I'm Od- not talking about the first. I'm not talking the, about the first Thor. I'm talking about Avengers. Oh, Avengers. Okay, that's what the, fr- the Avengers when he gets hit, taken in Whoa. that little metal thing, and he falls. Uh, to he he lost his will. Yeah, his it's will. A, has but it. yeah, but then he was just like, uh, I can't get in. Then it doesn't come back to him. And then when it comes back to him, and he's like, Okay, I believe in myself. And he picks it up. No, yeah, that's usually yeah. how it works. Yeah. Hesitation. It's, 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 it's him not, yeah. it's that hesitation of, do I really want to be Thor? And I'm like, can I be Thor to protect these people? Well, maybe that was what they were going for, but it wasn't very delivered yeah. that way. Yeah, I know yeah, most it was, people. Yeah, it was a little bit confusing. I know most people After in the comic book exactly. world wouldn't get it, yeah. but I mean, I understood it. Um, He just got his nails done. This was He was <laughs> waiting for them to dry, and then he was going to pick up the hammer. Uh, This movie... Felt like an Avengers movie for me, like a full on just Avengers movie. Focus that's, that's, on them as a team dynamic and all that. Yeah, I was. This Which is it? definitely this is a, a team that's already been built and established, and they're already working together. This is an Avengers movie. And Can we yeah. talk about the Hulkbuster and the Hulk? That okay, scene. okay. <laughs> yes. I love it. That I love it so much, especially ass. after the whole punch. 
and then you see Hulk's tooth just kind of spit out, and yeah, he's like, like, oh, like shit. his, like <laughs> everybody in my theater was like, <gasps> like literally as soon as they went to the like as soon as the tooth spit out, you literally heard a, simultaneously in the theater, <gasps> and then like the camera goes to fucking Tony, yeah. and he's like, oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, everybody oh, knows damn. you fucked up. Yeah, you, you done now. You better run. That fight was every bit as good as I thought it was going to be. And I was just like, yes, this is a fight. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. That was a great Crazy. delivery. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I loved it so much. It was like everything I was hoping yeah, with the fight. Despite, which... despite some of the problems with it, I think it was way better than the first one. Yeah. Sadly. Uh, Yeah. I, I didn't like the first one just because, I don't know. I was, yeah, so it's just my opinion. Yeah. I just didn't. That's, I wasn't into it, I guess, but I mean, then I watched the second one and I was like, holy shit. Yeah, that's fine. You know, that's. I, yeah, I was telling Nick, there's a dip. I think it's a way that you watch a movie. Like, I was telling Nick, there's a. I watched Insidious with, like, uh, the surround sound and everything all by myself in the dark, you know, and I was like, God, this movie's scary, you know, but then if you watch a scary movie in the middle of the day, you know, you're like, oh, that's not true. Hmm. I watched Grave Encounters in the middle of the day, and I was, oh, well, out. actually, that is a scary movie. Man, go, <laughs> go play Five Nights at Freddy's at my work alone where there's nothing but monitors. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. We fucking we did that, like, when we were at Feliciano's, that was after you left. Like, uh, Andrew decided because he had that game, so he set it up on the big screen TV and he's playing it, but we're all in the room together, so he's the only one freaking out, even though we're in the dark. Yeah, it's 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 like it's depending how you do it. If you watch a if you watch a horror movie alone, you're gonna be kind of freaked out. If you watch it with a group of friends, you can laugh at it. Yeah, I watched that's the what Babadook. I'm saying. Uh, watching the Avengers was awesome in the theater, especially because you yeah. were with your family and like it's like some of the best thing. Especially with my dad, who knows the whole comic yes. book yeah, universe. I mean, it makes it so much better that you can you have around people who will react the same way that you will. But I watched the first Avengers in theaters and I was just like, hmm, it was okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of horror movies, uh, it has finally got casted. Finally. Oh, who is it? Penny, uh, you, Pennywise will be played by the go- the boy in Meet the Millers and the the evil the evil kid in uh, the Maze Runner. That ginger what? looking kid, yeah. Ginger. Wow. Why? That's so. Because gingers are evil. Duh. No, he's got a creepy factor to him. I think it could work. I don't. He he plays his roles so well. I think he can I do know, it. I know, but like those are comedic roles or whatever. Like he, he just doesn't. Well, he I play... mean, Heath Ledger did a K Cowboy, and then he did the Joker. That's so, true. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah, he did the uh, Millers, but I mean, he's done so many different roles. I mean, I can't. You can't classify I've, him as I've a role. The Maze Runner, meet, so. meet the Millers. That guy that got bit by the tarantula. Yeah. He's yes. gonna be it. Oh, cool. Yeah, the, the tall boy. I'll, I'll have to see a trailer, man. Yeah, they would I'm have to that. fix him up real good. But I'm pretty sure uh, the makeup I hear is gonna look pretty good on him. Uh, but if I he ends up looking like the Joker, maybe pissed. Just no. so you know. No, no they oh, know how. <laughs> no, but I think he could do it. I think he's gonna look really good. I'm sure you're not gonna recognize him by look. I mean, look at the first Pennywise and look who at the actor who played him. They look. You wouldn't if you looked at him side by side. You wouldn't know it was him. Yeah, you would. Their eyes are the same. True. Nice. Tim Curry's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, he like looks exactly. Like I mean, him. you could see through the eyes, but if you like looked, I mean, they, the makeup job's so yeah. good. You if I didn't know it was him playing him, I probably wouldn't even. Yeah, have that's, that's probably true. Yeah, so I mean, so, I think he'll. I think they'll do fine. I think he'll play the role pretty well. I, he's already kind of creepy in his own yeah. sense. <laughs> Who that kid from? <laughs> yeah, he's I think he's, I, I, I haven't seen the Maze Runner. I refuse to watch that movie after seeing the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, feels well, like Hunger Games. I hear, adult I, novel. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, no. apparently, like, the the movie sucks. Did you watch the Honest real? trailer for uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? Uh, the... Honest trailer for oh. Fifty Shades of Grey? No. I, oh. I saw it, but I was gonna. I had it ready to play, oh, and then I sucks. had to go do something. And That's I never right. got around to watching it again. Did you watch the uh, uh, Green Ranger vs. Ryu? Yes. What did you think? I loved it. I was so scared because people were like, Ryu, and I'm just like... <sighs> no, hell no. Hell no. If you if you put those two in the same room together, hell no. Based on popularity, it's going to be the Green Ranger. I mean, I was scared, dude. <laughs> I'm just like, Did no. You? Yeah. No. I'm like, this is, this is his fucking channel. He better win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I thought it was all right. I didn't think it was as good as the Scorpion fight, but I thought it was all right. I enjoyed it. I mean... Oh, did Bad in the Sun do it? Yeah. Who uh, saw? Did you guys see the uh, Iron Man versus Lex Luthor death battle? I didn't, partly because I don't watch death battles. I've only seen ones that people have shown me. I've never actually watched one by myself. 
Death Battle is like pretty damn good, dude. I know. I've seen them, but I but, just I mean, don't run um, Lex, Lex Luthor versus Iron Man. I honestly wasn't sure how that was going to go when it got towards the end. I was like, aw, shit. Yeah. And so that that was pretty good. Nah, I won't spoil that for anybody. Anybody well, wants to go watch yeah. it? Screw Attack. I'll get to it. Screw Attack. Oh, they're, they're, those, that's what Screw Attack is. See, I kept I, that channel keeps popping up in my YouTube feed. Well, Screw Attack is a like uh, multi I don't know what the hell, channel. like, because it sounded familiar, and I'm like, I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> yeah, Screw Attack so, is like a multi-channel. It shows yeah. a lot of stuff. Uh, the next death battle is... Uh, Goliath mm-hmm. versus who the hell was it? I cannot remember. I'm going Jesus. to to the you internet. You sad bastard. We don't have internet here. Oh yeah. wait, I got my phone. Fuck yeah, y'all. We have no internet here. Yeah, I have been on my phone as well. well. Um, did anybody see those trailers for the TV shows that are coming out? Supergirl. Oh, I saw a poster. And the Legends of Tomorrow, whatever. That was weird. That was Supergirl weird. looks so bad. Okay, Supergirl. Let me explain that. This show looks Let me explain really like bad. why these people think it's gonna look so bad. First of all, no, the it beginning looks of like it's gonna look the bad. beginning of that trailer was literally the SNL skit of Black Widow. If you haven't seen that, you should honestly see it because if you play them, I'll. Um, here. Okay, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Here, I'll show it to you. Puppies and glitter and ponies. Yeah. No, I don't think this is gonna work. This this show looks well. I I'm toying with the idea of watching it though. Supergirl. Oh, Where's Goliath versus Beast. That's who it is from X. Oh shit, Beast. Goliath. I'm pretty sure is gonna win. <laughs> right. Yeah. Who's Goliath again? The gargoyles. Gargoyles. <gasps> Yeah, yeah that old show that everybody loves, but then somehow got canceled because it was too mature. He's a big ass. I'm just saying because just based on size, I'm pretty sure he's bigger than Beast is. Mm, you could maybe. step on that fool. Nah. But. So swoop down. He can also fly. So there's that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Goliath's got it. Okay, I'm gonna find you this SNL skit for Black Widow. That strangely <laughs> reminded me of the plot from Ghost Rider. <laughs> That's exactly what that movie. Is. That that yeah. That trailer is it not like the yeah. first beginning of the trailer? It's just like, that's what people are like. Wow, this looks like that SNL skit. Uh, go Supergirl. This movie or this TV show looks so bad. Uh, but see, like the second half just makes me think it ha- maybe has a chance. It has potential. I don't know what the hell. I'm I'm all, I'm almost on the same boat as you. Like Nick. when she goes up to the roof and he, she's like telling that guy, he's like, no, like I have something to tell you. Oh my God, you're a lesbian. I was like. Are we literally doing this? Uh, Michael Bay humor. And then she jumps off a roof to show that she can fly. It's all weird. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of superheroes, we got the season finale of Arrow. I have not. And then uh, we got the season that. finale of Flash coming this week. Yeah. I saw Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are talking about Fucking show. I know I've already talked about it. How much I hate that show. Oh man, but uh, Ar- I don't know if I want to go back for season two though, because I I said I was gonna give the show a chance and it's just terrible. I'm, no one's gonna force you. Like I swear. You're gonna don't worry. Don't worry. They're, Attack on they're... Titans starting this summer. Oh, ooh, right. ooh, ooh, ooh! We haven't talked about it on the podcast. Was that? Digimon Try a trailer just released? Oh, yeah, new I se- saw that. New season or what? Yes, yes, with the original uh, cast. Characters. Or yeah. characters, yeah. Badass. They're doing Dragon Ball too, right? Uh, yeah, Dragon, Dragon Ball's, Ball's right. coming back too. I just really yeah. hope that when they, they don't fuck up them, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I saw that trailer for Try and I was like, oh, good. I, like I told you, like the original artist didn't come back yeah. for Aww. the Digimon, so their faces have changed. Aww. The Digimon look really detailed and well done this yeah. time around. I'm so, uh, please tell me they don't form and shit together. Like in what was it, what? the third season where they're wearing like oh. armor or something? Oh, that's season four. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That has never happened again. <laughs> Good. It should that, never happen. That's again. when I stopped watching. I was like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> that's. I know. I lost interest right there too. <laughs> yeah, I've actually seen that show. Ugh. And he he said it himself. It's just Power it, Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. It's not a bad season of Power Rangers. Did you watch uh, Dumb and Dumber Two? Uh, no. No. I just it? I I didn't know if I'd like it and I watched it and it's stupid. 
funny stupid it's all right they're old as hell <laughs> yeah they brought that blind dude back it was funny that oh they did it was funny <laughs> that's yeah. i think they brought that same little boy back but he's all grown up and then they sneak up on him and they're like ah like they scare him to death and shit. Like, <laughs> i did talk asshole. about unfriend unfriended right here on the podcast yeah yeah, yeah I think you, I said, did. you said that it was uh you said it was okay like it did i Wait, mean or is that some of the movie i think that's some other shit Go on. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I just, it's it was interesting. Uh, let's talk about Mad Max. I don't know if you guys heard the news about Mad Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it came, came out, out, right? But that's yeah. about it. Yeah, have you heard, so you haven't heard anything else about it? Nope. Okay. What do you think people are complaining about Mad Max? That it didn't the... get as popular because one of the cast mes- members didn't die. And no. <laughs> Paul Take Walker. a guess. Wow. Uh... Because, I don't know, Max is still in the movie while Charlize Theron is the main character? Is that it? Uh, it is, the main complaint oh, I see. Yeah. is that it's too feminist. Oh. And if sure. this movie is too feminist, fucking call me a feminist because I fucking enjoyed this movie. I haven't seen it. <laughs> so... Fucking, I mean, really? I mean, this is the complaint we're Because Mad Max, in all reality, in this entire movie, is not the main character. Yeah. <laughs> he is and not. And I knew that going in, so that And he that. is the one who gets rescued the most. Cool. Yeah, no. So. I'm surprised that, that, that uh, friggin' Enchanted didn't get that uh, complaint. Enchanted. Because it's the same fucking thing. It's okay, no one saw that movie. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean... I just, I'm just like, and there's not very many, I mean, like, this is like super, these are, people who are complaining about this are like people who are already against super high feminist, feminist of any sort. Yeah. And I'm just like, um, I don't see anything wrong with this movie. I mean, it's, it's not, I mean, it's not like it's a bad movie. It's really well done. The effects are all practical effects. Nothing was hardly any CGI. I'm like. That's Everything funny. looked really damn well good. If a car exploded, that was a car exploding. That was no fake shit. Badass, man. So, I mean, like, a lot of this movie is really good, and I'm just like, you know, that's, that's, the movie sends the message, you know, women aren't objects, they're people, and this and that, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, that's fine. You're not, like, super overplaying it, I mean, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, yes, this movie's feminist, but I mean, like, I'm not like, no, this is a bad sort of feminism. I'm just like, no, this is... This They'll is, get over it. Yeah, and I'm just like, no. wow. I'm like, I can't believe this is the complaint of the movie. And I'm just like, <laughs> fucking stupid ass people. I'm like, this movie's really good. Yeah, they'll find some another movie to fuck with. You really don't ever hear that much of a... Like, you'll always hear the people that complain about it. You'll never hear the people that actually like the movie a lot. Because if they enjoy the movie, you know, they'll talk about it, but they won't make a point to be seen and shit you know yeah. but people who had a problem with it like hey man we didn't like this movie because of this and a lot of people are like oh man i need to belong so i'm going to join them and i agree with you or something so that's why you'll hear more about them but i'm pretty sure pretty sure it was a good movie that's a we need to go see that yeah well i mean i was gonna watch the other ones should we, should we see the one. first ones first there's other ones right yeah that's uh, yeah they're t- this is like technically like a sequel so yeah oh there's another there's one more we yeah there's like there's, th- there's like three of them before oh, this movie came out when yeah. they come out uh like in the 80s in the 80s before we were born oh. they were old movies old. mel gibson Oh, shit. Was a star when those movies happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Damn. Oh, Where did that come under. from? <laughs> just like, just Holy fucking throw him shit. under the bus. Right, so what if he's I'm listening? Just, Holy I'm shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, he was, watch him get like a tweet later. I'm just, yeah, I heard what you said about it. I really enjoyed your podcast <laughs> until this one. <laughs> I, I, I didn't fucking upload it. Either he just contacts me on Twitter. <laughs> uh, it's just like. I'm, I'm just saying, man. He's cuckoo. He's absolutely out of his mind. <laughs> we don't mean it, Mel Gibson. We love you. Don't stop listening to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Make our podcast famous. <laughs> uh, other news about Digimon Tri since we were on it earlier, but I didn't get to talk about it. Yeah. Um, rumor is speculating that it's not going to be a series, that it's going to be like a six-part movie. That's like a, pretty bad. Like a mini movie or something like that. Yeah. It's kind of like it, it's like way, an hour is it long. Like, each? like the the way Agent Carter was, because uh, that was only eight episodes and it was all 
an hour per. Um, yeah, have you ever seen uh, Pokemon Origins? Hell, well, which one was that? It, no, 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 I saw Pokemon Heroes. No, I, haven't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Pokemon Origins is literally a six-episode series about Red from the first generation on the journey to become Pokemon Master. Was it, this was aired okay. yeah, in well, America? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it is the whole series is available Pokemon. on Hulu to watch. Oh. So, yeah. Really? And, yeah, and it's like a six-episode movie, and it does like the whole story of like the game. I, I still need to watch the rest of that show. So I'm assuming I it's going to be something that. like that. It's going to tell a full story in like six episodes. Is Pokemon still on? Yes. Like there's new seasons? Yes. With Ash? Yes. yes. Uh, Ash, still. Ash has never died and he stills never aged. He's yeah. just the same age. Well, no, wait, no. I think he's no, 11 he, now. No, he hasn't aged. Has he not? I think they According said. to Linkara, he has, he's still 10 years old. Yeah, he's 10 years old, but oh. he has teeth now. He long. has teeth. That's a long ass uh, year, I guess, um, or month. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Uh, by the way, did, do you know where I can get a copy of the first movie just so I can watch it? The first Pokemon movie. Yeah, Pokemon was in the. Do no, I saw that? Me too, right? That's yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, Felicano that. has a copy. Oh shit! Okay. You saw that at Ralph's with two thousand. Okay. Well, I mean, because like, did you mind the movie? I saw that first season. And I just figure I should watch that movie before I can... I have the Digimon movie still on VHS. It's awesome. Hell, dude. it's fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That movie is amazing, dude. It's pretty good. I love it. Uh, I know, have you seen the nostalgia critic I tribute? did, yeah. <laughs> and I understand, I laugh, understand yeah. personally why he hates it, but yeah. I love it. <laughs> I, get, I get it, too. Staff's my my favorite awesome. part was just the Otaku just crying. That was my favorite part of the whole and I'm sure you know nobody who knows Digimon has fucking no has no idea why she's crying. Yeah, <laughs> I do. We'll oh, shit. get to that. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy about this because I, I saw that trailer, and then I did you happen to see that fan video that I posted on Facebook? Yes, I was like, motherfucker, don't be posting fan shit. No, I love, I love, I love, I love, uh, I love the great. song that they added to it yeah. too. And it's, that's like the American song too. We yeah. Stick together. Yeah. I wanna be the favorite best. Although I love how they act. I love the only, what I really love about this the trailer, the original one, was uh, that, they, the that they actually played the original song uh, Butterfly. Yeah, I heard the that. ending version. I love that. By the way, so I went to Netflix and I rewatched like the pilot episode in the Japanese. And it's not that different. It's really not. It's, it's crazy. And what's weird is that, like, on the research that I did while writing my research paper mm -hmm. uh, for Power Rangers, I realized that I found out why people hate doves. Why? Because uh, in the between the 60s and the 80s or whatever, between the 60s and the 90s, the way they would uh, adapt anime for American audiences is that they would edit them. Oh, have you have you add, ever heard of Four Kids? And add animators to add new scenes in. And yeah, have you ever heard of Four Kids? New scripts, so it would be an entirely different show. Have you ever heard of Four Kids? Yes. Have you ever seen One Piece done by Four Kids? Hell no. Well, I, I haven't watched One Piece. One Piece. Okay. Let me explain. I could have completely told you this one. Um, when they brought One Piece to America, Four Kids took it. Hmm. They had the artwork almost redone. Smoker, who ate the smoke fruit, the smoke smoke fruit, he can turn into smoke. His main signature thing was smoking on his, like, seven cigars. Okay. So, when they dubbed it, his fucking, his, his mouth would be open like this, like he's smoking a cigar, uh -huh. and nothing's there. Uh -huh. So, his face just looks fucking weird. <laughs> and so, second thing is... All, all guns were placed with, like, those little popper guns, you know, that shoot, like, the cork out. Oh, yeah. shit. Actual guns that they had in the show were replaced with popper guns. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, you got me. Uh, oh, like, they took out all the blood, <laughs> anything like, like that. You it's, see that, that joke in uh, The Amazing World of Gumball where they're like, oh, my God, you have the first issue of this amazing comic book, but his mom has, like, gone through it and edited it forever. Oh, yeah. So they're, like, when they're shooting guns at him, they're just, like, Replace the guns with giant hands, and everybody's all smiles. And yeah. Like, hey, man. Hey, it's man. so stupid. You got to watch that. That's it's what just, I remember. It's you. so... I, yeah. And I, I like... I, that's why I like to watch stuff from, like, Funimation and all that. Because they don't change anything. They don't change oh, anything. that's good. Now, no, like, it, when you saw Attack... Oh, you haven't seen the dub to Attack on Attack. But I've watched a couple episodes. They don't... They don't it just it. weirds me out that Mika has a different voice. <laughs> I don't know why that freaks me out, but it because does. Because her voice was just so well casted yeah. in the Japanese version. By the way, I get to go... I, get to go meet her at the Dallas Comic Con. Oh, you're going to go to the Dallas Comic Con? Yeah. 
When is that? Uh, at the end of this month. Is it like during the weekend? Uh, I don't know. I think it's like during the 28th or whatever. It's at the 31st is Sunday. Because I, so, yeah. I know that because I have a class that day. Oh, shit. And JDF's going to be there. And, fuck, I'd go, but... Uh, Stan Lee's going to be there. I'd go, but I just... Stan Lee! I'm gonna meet, I, I got to work. I'm going to meet all those people. Sandler. And I'm going to be going to... I'm going to be going to Comic-Con. I'm so. going to take a picture. It's going to be like this. And I'm going to send it to you. you Please do. Be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. Hey, I got you a video of Black Nerd Comedy. You yeah, owe me one. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Black Nerd. He's so beautiful. By the way, since I am going to VidCon again this year, and people who don't know, please come and find me at VidCon. Are they still selling tickets? Yes. Oh, crap. Is, any, is uh, anybody like, going literally, with you? Huh? Anybody going with you? Wasn't Danny going with you? Fucking call. Danny was going to go with me. Boop. But yeah. he was going to go with me, and then that happened, and so... Yeah. He's not going to go due to uh, personal reasons. Well, so. I asked him still. I was like, if you still want to go, there's still a few tickets still left for sale. They haven't sold out yet. Um, if you damn. see him, say hi to him for me. Uh, Roman Atwood? I'm probably not going to do um, it. I wonder if he is going to go this uh, year. I'm probably not going to do it just because... He usually goes every year. I need a ride, and my brother's already set up this whole thing for the Dallas Comic Con, so I probably won't go this year. Well, if you want to ride, you could ride with us. Roman Atwood, I love you. Damn. Have my babies. Uh, if I do see him, I will try to get a video for you. Uh, I always see Swoozy, so if you want a shout-out, let me know. Swoozy? Uh, God, who's Swoozy? Black guy does the animations. Never oh, heard? oh, he does that. Uh, he does the Disneyland thing. Yeah, that's the funny yeah. issue. Yeah, he does those. <laughs> he does those. Uh, to... I'm out there making that paper. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. remember? Hell the yeah, fucking dude. Do you want that, a shout out? Because I meet him dude, every that year. That dude is awesome, dude. I love that dude. That dude's fucking funny. I'll get you a shout out. I'll get a video for it. Yeah. yeah. Cause he uh, he still he, I always get... have him say that line because that line's my favorite. Every time I'm like thinking about going to work, I'm like. I don't want to go to work, hey. but I gotta go make that paper, man. Hey, hey. if you if, while I'm at VidCon, if you keep your phone on you and just like wait the entire weekend, he he'll he uh, he'll be like, hey, can I call them? And I've called, I called, uh, I called Coleman last time. Oh yeah, and he right. talked to Coleman through the phone. <gasps> I can have him call you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not joking. Even uh, he took me out to eat, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, he takes like some of his fans out to eat, and since it was my like third time ever seeing him. Uh, he's like, oh, I remember you. He goes, hey, I'm taking some uh, some of my fans out to eat. He goes, you should join. I got to go out to eat with this guy. Aww. <laughs> Aww. What tickets are they still selling? Uh, I think they're still selling the creator tickets. I'm looking right now. I would shake his hand and I'd be just like that. Because I have uh, money, but I don't know if I should spend it on I'd that. I'd be just like Spongebob. Dude, I think it's kind of worth it. I would never wash my hand. I'm never washing this hand. Oh, yeah, I get to meet Tom Kenny also. Tom Kenny! I bet he's old. Yeah, but... It's good to meet Mikey Boltz is oh, going to be there. Him and Tara Strong also. Who's that? Nice Peter's going to be there. Can you tell this nice gentleman here that there's only one doctor and it's David Tennant? <laughs> yeah, there's only one doctor and it's David Tennant. David Tennant. I'm not only. arguing. I don't know who the hell that dude is. <laughs> <laughs> that is a impostor. <laughs> he's in David Tennant's spot. He's keeping it warm. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so you got I felt I laughed because yeah. I saw that on your face. And I'm like, ha, he got sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I only watched the David Tennant thing and then I just happened to Google it on purpose of when he changed into that douche. Huh. Roman, At <laughs> Roman Atwood hasn't confirmed he's going yet. Aww. Yeah, I'm looking through all the R's right now. I watched his vlog. Oh. Is that everyone that's going? Yeah, this is like an entire <gasps> Fine Bros. Yeah, Rose Fine Oh, that's my girlfriend right there. We're getting married. Rosanna Pensino. Yeah, we're getting married. She doesn't know that. <laughs> she doesn't know yet, but we're getting married. Yeah, that's what I keep saying about Olga K, but that's never shit gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Is it the whole list? Yeah, you just gotta. It's like a very long. list. How much are, are the tickets for the, again? Look at it. Like one hundred and seventy-five dollars, yeah. right? Uh, right now? Yeah, I think so. Let me go. Fuck. To... Wait, when is Spadecon? Uh, July twenty-third, twenty-fourth. Oh, July. How much are oh, tickets? Shit. How much are tickets? Um, like one hundred. Hold on, let me go back and check because we leave because we drive there. Because yeah. it's cheaper than fucking flying in my car. Yeah, fuck that. In my car, literally, uh, 25 bucks fills it up. Mm. For real? That's not even joking. Like, 25 bucks fills it up. See, because... I might actually have a job by then, so, so I could actually go with I'm you. I'm patient, so I mean, I'm always happy. Okay, money, so uh, we're going to take off uh, the... Probably the... 21st? So... Of... July? Yes. Yeah, so that's a good while from now. Yeah, and see, and then we're going to arrive there hopefully the maybe the 23rd. Uh -huh. 
because it's going to be like a we're going to drive all the way through but yeah we're going to probably stop and nap and shit so yeah we may go leave on the 21st night and then get there on the 23rd and then uh we'll check in at our hotels go register for vidcon and the actual vidcon dates are 24 25th 25th 26th. <laughs> no Cause you said okay. I need money to. No. Yeah, oh no no no. We're gonna leave on the. We're gonna leave most likely on the twentieth. Sorry. We're gonna get there on the twenty second. Cause the actual VidCon dates are twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth is Disney Day. If you want to go, right, not right. required. Uh yeah, we're gonna go. The Disney. Uh, Disney Day tickets are, um, um, are cheaper if you're going to a convention, but not much cheaper. You're still gonna spend like sixty, seventy bucks. I don't think I would have fun at Disneyland. I mean, watching Spoozy. I mean, yeah, but the only thing we, the only <laughs> the only thing we go to Disneyland for is to ride. You some gotta rides. watch Spoozy's videos. No, we got oh, the only thing we do is ride some rides, and then uh, we take the group picture at VidCon. If you yeah, see my banner, that's the group picture. That's real. Yeah. All right, then. That sounds awesome. Dude. Uh, let me I'll see let the you know. the price on tickets. Let's. Go. Here's Spoozy talks about his job at um, at Disneyland because he worked there, and he said like, I mean, like you cannot not smile. Thank you. Okay, cre- community <laughs> passes are still up for sale for one fifty, mm-hmm. which that means you you get to go to the signings, but you are not available to go to the second floor and check out panels. Oh, what shit. panel? Panel is uh, going to uh, like panels are for people who want to be a creator and learn the tricks and trades of stuff and oh. uh, and stuff like that. So it may not be something you want. You may want the community pass, and community pass does allow you to meet at least three. Ki- Three creators. Oh. And get in a signing and line and take pictures. Like Roman, sign my butt. Creator <laughs> passes are also for sale. But. Buts. There's more buts in this pot. They're $200. $200? They're the last of the, the tier. God damn. Because they're the late tickets. I don't have that much money. I like Fousey Tube. I end up getting a job. Vitaly. Fousey Tube will be uh, there. Vitaly will be there. Vitaly. Which I'm hoping to get a job in the next two weeks. But uh, uh, Magic of Rahat. If I can. I don't know if Magic of Rahat is going to be there this year. I don't think he goes. Who I is going? Think... Huh? Who's going? There's a lot. There's a whole list that he had. Yeah, I got a lot of people. Uh, Ooh, of course, Philip DeFranco is going to go. Mm-hmm. And stuff. But I'm watching his videos. I I just can't get it into them. Oh. I guess it's like it's like basically like a news thing. Yeah. Do you watch Just Kidding News? Oh, I love Just Kidding News. Yeah. I always post shit on their face. We were watching. <laughs> we were watching one at uh, uh, our aunt's house. We were watching it, and her mother-in-law was in that living room. And I'm trying to pick one that's not inappropriate. And then first one I pull up, it's about having two vaginas. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, you just pick one. <laughs> like <laughs> to do it. And then I was like, oh man, that was a weird. Advertisement. I wonder when our video is gonna. And then we. I don't know if you heard this lady. She was being held hostage by her abusive boyfriend. Oh, so she, and then she used the Pizza Hut app to get yeah. called. Did you watch that episode of Just Kidding News? Yeah, you did. did they, you know how they got off topic about <laughs> porn and rape. Yeah, and I was like, they always get like, what the, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, rape you, man. Yeah. What was <laughs> the one? The one who uh, there. This guy found his long lost sister on Tinder. Uh huh. And uh, they were they were like. <laughs> Talking all sexual towards each other, and then he found out it was his long lost sister. Oh, shit. <laughs> and they were like, "What?" They were like, "Well, would you still do it?" And he goes, "Well, if, if, like, it's not like we knew each other." And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and "I was like, what? <laughs> they're like, heck? so they're like, so wait, even after you knew the fact that she was your sister, you'd still do it?" He goes, "I don't know, maybe. It. I mean, it's not like we knew each other." We're, and he goes, "Can't help who you fall in love with." I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> Uh, there, did you see the one about them sleeping naked? Like, about how sleeping naked uh, actually improves your health and shit? How? I, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. All I remember is them talking about how the, 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 the actual couple that are dating, uh, the bigger guy, and, the, and they're like... Oh, I guess you He's sleep. like, you don't sleep naked. She goes, yeah, I do. I sleep pretty much in my underwear. He goes, that's not naked. <laughs> Oh, by the way, did I get to tell? Did I tell you I met Double Rainbow guy? Oh, really? Yeah, nice. Double Rainbow, Double Rainbow, all the way. Oh, what that is? Is uh, the guy who he sees was, two rainbows? Yeah. Oh he yeah, the mountain man. Oh yeah, he so looks like beautiful. a. Man. Yeah, that guy. He's a dude. He's such a mountain man. He's got the beard and everything. Mm-hmm. He's, it's amazing. He had like everything on him was double rainbows. He was wearing nothing but double rainbow <laughs> shit. 
He even had a stick that had two double rainbows on it. I'm guessing you're going to participate in the ninja game that they have there. Yeah, I was in the last one. Yeah. I, there was four people left. Terrible. Fucking, I was like, I'm, I was like, because it was like, we all split into groups, A, B, C, D, and all that. And then after that, it was like the finals where uh-huh. you'd all, everybody would go against one on one until there was the last one, which was pretty interesting how they so did it. So you were in the final? No. Oh. I almost had it because they, all three people got to go to the finals. Ah. So there was just four people. Only one more person had to go out. Damn. One more fucking person had to go out. And, that was your and, <laughs> and like this one guy, he was totally exposed. And I'm like, Ah, oh, I'm just gonna fucking get this guy out. This will be easy. I move on to the next stage. Literally, as I sweep one hand, I accidentally move my other arm too. Uh-huh. And so I moved it into an awkward position like this to where Damn. I couldn't see it. And all of a sudden, some little kid, as soon as I stop my motion, like out of nowhere, just like non, like not even a split second to think. Whoosh, I was like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible. Some little kid got my ass out, and yeah. that's not fair. It was really hard to get that little kid because I'm like up here, and he's down here. I'm like I'm trying to swing like this down here to get his ass. Go, get over here. Go and to your like, room. He's like doing the splits, like literally the splits, and he's like down here, and I'm like fucking little piece of shit. I guess kicking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. No shit. <laughs> uh, Lobster boy won again though last year. Oh, yeah, so. I hope he doesn't win again this year. Hopefully he's someone else will take competing. the medal. Huh? What? He, mm-hmm. probably, he should be allowed to compete. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's good, dude. Mm-hmm. He really is. It's, he's I scary be, good. I would be terrible at that game. <laughs> like, I've been practicing with... Like, I've been practicing with Danny and them, but they fucking... They're like, oh, we're not going. We're not going to practice. I was like, you fuck dick. I need to get better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not practice. I wouldn't think of it as a practice. I think it's just fun, you know? It's a game, you know? Yeah. You play it. You have fun. It's a fun ass game. Mm-hmm. Getting your hand slapped the shit out of you know? <laughs> So, this is the end of the Power Chamber podcast. Uh, I'm Emilio. You can find me on Twitter at MyFriendsIHate, or you can find me on YouTube uh, at MyFriendsIHate, all one word. Uh, I make videos, uh, vlogs, what you should be watching, TV, news, oh. and movies, reviews. And uh, I just recently did a music video. The bloopers should be up sometime this week. Oh, you have bloopers? Oh, they're That's fun. Fun. oh I can't wait. They're hilarious. <laughs> Let me know so when they're up, man. <laughs> so as soon as those are, as soon as I got finished editing those, That's those will be up funny. here, like, maybe hopefully in the past next couple days. Okay. I will be posting that, so be on the lookout for that. Give me a like on my videos and stuff. Uh, Nick? I'm Nick, uh, a.k.a. IronBed1993 on the Twitter and the YouTube I'll get that video out for you guys. I swear I'll do it. We finished our finals, easy, so yeah. we're we're good now. Yeah, we can I have actually nothing start. to do for like the next couple of days. So I know I have so much free time. I literally, I have no idea what to fucking do. Like I slayed in my bed all day today, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed I got to up, do. I got up at noon, so there's that. <laughs> I was just like, I got up, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed been, to do. I, I've been playing. I took friend. my dog out on a walk. I fucking hardly oh god you were bored <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I fucking hardly do that like I usually just take him outside in the front to let him go but no we went on a walk we like went around the fucking entire neighborhood did I tell you how I took two tone for a walk and then like he acted like he hurt his foot he was limping. I was like, oh no, two-tone. And I started carrying him like the last block. And then as soon as I put him down, he's like, hey. And he just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. So, Nathaniel, anywhere we can find you? Um, I'm on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm on, I uh, also had a website, uh, Big Booty Hoes and Big Burritos, you know. Uh, he's single for any, uh, big black, <laughs> any big black men who are looking. Hey, big black man with a weave. Thank you very much. Big right. black man with a weave. <laughs> so if you want to just message him, say like, you got a nice butt. Yeah, that's a joke, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Mel Gibson, if you're still a good sport and listening to this, we appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you, Mons, next time. Bye. May the power protect you.